atomic number and mass number. So far, you've learned about subatomic particles. Can you name them? Good. The first one is a proton. The second is a neutron. The third is an electron. These are the three subatomic particles that we are required to learn for now. Now, these subatomic particles usually have a relative mass and an electrical charge as summarized in the following table. From this table, a neutron has no electrical charge and it has a relative mass of 1. A proton has an electrical charge of positive 1. And a relative mass of 1. An electron has an electrical charge of negative 1. And a relative mass that is approximately 0. It is usually calculated as 1 divide 1840. You could calculate that in the calculator, but it's approximately zero. So what is atomic number and mass number? Well, atomic number is the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom. That means, for example, hydrogen has one proton. Therefore, it has an atomic number of one. Helium has two protons. That means it has an atomic number of two. Sodium has 11 protons, meaning it has atomic number of 11. Calcium has atomic number of 20 because it has 20 protons. What is the atomic number of carbon? How about fluorine? The mass number is the sum of the neutrons and protons in the nucleus of an atom. For example, hydrogen has one proton and zero neutrons. Hence, its mass number is one plus zero to give us one. So it has a mass number of one. Sodium 
has 11 protons and 12 neutrons meaning its mass number is 11 plus 12 to give us 23 carbon do you remember the number of protons it has six protons and six neutrons meaning it has a mass number of six plus six which is twelve another example is calcium it has 20 protons and 20 neutrons therefore its mass number is 20 plus 20 to give us 40 Also, chlorine, which is written as Cl, has 17 protons and 18 neutrons. What is the mass number of chlorine? Yes, you got it right, 35. The mass number and atomic number are usually represented by numbers just before the symbol of the element. For example, hydrogen. We have these two little numbers just before the element. The number that is on top or that is superscript is the mass number, while the one that is at the bottom or subscript is the atomic number. Do you remember how we calculated the mass number? It was the number of protons plus the number of neutrons, which gave us the mass number. For hydrogen, it was one proton plus zero neutrons to give us one as the mass number. And therefore, in this symbol, mass number is represented as 1 and the atomic number is also 1. For sodium, we also calculated the mass number as 23, which is here, and the atomic number as 11. Which of the numbers for oxygen represents atomic and mass number. Can you try to identify? How about these ones? For sulfur, carbon and neon. 